are back for some more of my Christmas Day special, in which we're going to play some Sega Genesis games. We're going to play a total of four. And the first, of course, is Jeopardy. Let's see how we do. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. It's time for Jeopardy. Yeah, I'll be him today. That'd be fine. Today we have Debbie and we have Troy. One day the double hidden up there somewhere. You want a candle? Mammals. Five letter words. All that jazz. State capitals. The 40s, and we'll close it out with Inventions. Take all that jazz for 100. Instrument Satchmo play. What's the trumpet? You are correct. All that jazz for 200. And the answer there's the Daily Double. I can risk up to $500 on the split if I want to, and I think we will do just that. 500 bucks. As Duke goes through rope, it don't mean a thing if they got this. What a swing. You are correct. And we go up to $600. We'll have to a good start. Uh, all that jazz for $300. Scott Joplin's brand of music, it brought jazz out of the fancy houses. What is ragtime? In 1924, Paul Whiteman introduced this first Gershwin concert jazz piece. What is Rhapsody in Blue? You are correct. And all that jazz for 500. Off to a good start. Mel and Ella excel at this, singing meaningless syllables instead of words. What is scatting? You are correct. Okay. I'd like to go with, oh, uh, let's have the 40s for 100. Though faster than a speeding bullet, he was rolled 4F. Who's Superman? You are correct. A uh, five letter words for 100. Used by a carpenter, a master sergeant, and a dentist. What's a drill? Uh-oh. You are correct. Uh, five more words for Jewer, please. A lady's handbag or something done with lips before a kiss. What's purse? You are correct. Five more words for 300. A wagon police, a police wagon, a rice field, or Arthur Shayevsky. What is Patty? You are correct. Uh, find the worst port, please. Hamlet said, Frailty, thy name is this. What is woman? You are correct. Uh, for the word friend, please. In 
In Czech, it's Herrick. In German, Schauspieler. And in Hollywood, usually an employee. What's an actor? You are correct. Wow, $3,400 in cash. I will take uh, for the 40s for 200, please. By war's end, they had a bank over 13 million units of blood for plasma. What's the Red Cross? You are correct. Uh, the 40s for 30, please. Not a singing, but a lack of lunch caused the fan to swoon out at his Paramount Theater concert. Who's Frank Sinatra? You are correct. Uh, the 40s reporter, please. Destination of MacArthur's, I shall return. What's the Philippines? You are correct. Uh, Fortress Survivor, please. Wartime pseudonym of Business Eva Don Tokori Diakino. What's Tokyo Rose? You are correct. Yeah, you. Oh, I'll take a bunch of fur, please. It is generally believed that gunpowder was invented in this country. What is China? You are correct. Uh, bitch, just for please. Himself blind, he modified a military secret code to invent writing for the blind. Who's Braille? You are correct. Uh, Vengeance for Freedom, please. Willis Carrier's 1902 invention. What's your conditioner? You are correct. Uh, Mr. Sport, please. Not surprisingly, he invented the disposable blade safety razor. Just King Gillette. You are correct. Uh, Mr. Forever, please. Though his name is also associated with blades, he invented the electric shaver. Who's shit? You are correct. Yep. Yeah. Uh, nails for him, please. Warner Brothers' fragrant version is Peppy Le Pew. What's a skunk? You are correct. Uh, now let's please. Only male mothers produce this for their young. What is milk? You are correct. Uh, now let's scream, please. Prominent facial feature of the proboscis monkey. What's the nose? You are correct. Ah, uh, sick down sport, please. Possums are the only members of this family of mammals native to North America. What are marsupials? Could we be on our way to a clean sweep, the Jeopardy round? Let's find out. You are correct. Uh, no sword, please. Term is 
describing bears or any animal which eats both meat and plants. What is omnivorous? You are correct. All right. All we have left is state capitals. Hunter, please. Juno was its capital when it became a U.S. state. Sitka was its capital under Russian rule. What's Alaska? You are correct. Uh, Twitter, please. Originally called Waterloo, it's the capital of Texas. What's Austin? Better get this right, otherwise, I'll never let myself live it down. You are correct. Uh, three please. State whose capital is properly pronounced Pier. What's South Dakota? You are correct. Uh, four, please. Though Augusta, Georgia is much larger, the only Augusta that's the state capital is here. What is Maine? And after this clue, we only have one clue left. We'll see if I can run the entire Jeopardy round. You are correct. All right. State Capital, it's home to a service academy. What is Annapolis? You are correct. Ran the entire Jeopardy round. Wow. How about that? Double now it's time for Double Jeopardy. Here we go. Two daily doubles up there somewhere. Let's see if we can do it again with these categories. Rituals. Fictional characters. Salad. Law. Kid stuff. And finally, the Oscars. Ooh. We could do it again. Let's find out. Uh, fictional characters for Twitter, please. Hank Morgan, a Connecticut Yankee, became this king's right hand man. Who's King Arthur? We ran the entire Jeopardy round. Will we run the entire double Jeopardy round too? Let's find out. You are correct. Uh, let's have official character support, please. This great friend of Nick Carraway lived in Long Island's West End. Who's Gatsby? You are correct. Jay Gatsby, yep. Uh, fictional characters for 600, please. Mellors, the gatekeeper, was this D.H. Lawrence book's title character. Uh, who is Lady Chatterley's lover? Come on. There we go. You are correct. Whoa, Nelly. Two more clues and we'll run seven categories. The beautiful ageless H Rider Haggard Heroin. Uh who is Lady Godiva? Oh, and that's where our stream ends. But hey, we've been killing it. So we're not going to run the entire Double Jeopardy round, but that's okay. Sorry. Debbie doesn't have a clue. Uh -oh. How about it, Troy? Oh, she. You are correct. Just she. All right. Now it's kid stuff. Pied Piper's tune lured the children from this town. What's Hamelin? 
Uh oh. Uh, just a port, please. As cubs are the scouts, as brownies are the girl scouts, these are the campfire girls. Oh, the bluebirds, that's right. It did not dawn on me inside, but that's okay. Shake it off. Go to the next clip. Well, there's the first of the two daily doubles, and, and one of them is in the category of rituals. You can risk up to a thousand, Debbie. You blow it, you do it before blowing out the candles on your birthday cake. Let's make a wish. You are correct. Oh man, I thought for sure I was gonna get one of those daily doubles. That's okay. Go on to the next one. An attorney named Schuster probably inspired this nickname for a dishonest lawyer. What's a shyster? You are correct. Uh, let's have virtual support, please. Sometimes held in secret, it gets you into a fraternity or a cult or a cult. What is an initiation? Uh, virtual six hundred, please. The cha no yu as performed by Japanese women. What is the tea ceremony? You are correct. Uh, let's have uh, rituals for Aaron, please. Throughout the Pacific, this toe singeing ritual is held when the tie plant ripens. Uh, what is walking on fire? You are correct. And let's have rituals for a thousand. Since 1903, members of this New York City club have gone swimming in the icy Atlantic from polar bears. You are correct. That's very good. Uh, fictional characters, a thousand. What Philip Nolan was missing. Oh, a country. You are correct. The name of this salad comes from the Dutch for cabbage salad. What's coleslaw? You are correct. Uh, salad four hundred. Many molded salads depend on this basic ingredient to hold their shape. What is gelatin? You are correct. Ah, uh, salad six. The German version of this popular salad contains bacon and vinegar and is often served hot. Ah, uh, what is the tin salad? Let's keep it going on the salad for 800. Use the seasoned salads. A chapon is a dry crust of bread rubbed with this. What is garlic? You are correct. And salad for 1,000. This salad dressing was named for a region shared by New York State and Ontario. What salad is that? You 
You are correct. Kiss up 600. If championship games are held in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, where it was founded, what is Little League? You are correct. Uh, I'll take Kiss up 800. He was Superball, Superboy's Dog of Steel. What is crypto? Who's crypto? You are correct. Kiss up thousand. When kids play this in England, they jump on two legs and hold the puck between their feet. What's hopscotch? And no, I don't mean give me that puck when I play NHL kids. You are correct. Uh, lock four, please. Justice is incidental to law and order, said the former FBI chief. Um, who's J. Edgar Hoover? You are correct. Okay. Keep it going. Civil law in France and Louisiana is based on his code. Who's Napoleon? Uh-oh. You are correct. Uh, law for 800? Riparian Riper Riper rights pertain to the use of this substance. What is water? You are correct. Last name of the learned judge who sat on the federal bench longer than any other. What's hand? You are correct. Twenty-one thousand one hundred dollars with one category left, and that's the Oscars. This film of Forster's nineteen twenty-four novel of British colonial rule picked up two Oscars. What is the passage to India? His role in 1940's Philadelphia story earned him an Oscar. Oh, 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 who was Jimmy Stewart? You are correct. Surgeon Hang S. Ngor won for his acting debut in this film, which parallel his life. Uh, what is the killing field? Oops. You are correct. Here we go. Two clues left. One of them is the other daily double. Just a matter of finding it. Though he played Amadeus, he lost the Oscar to co-star F. Morey Abraham. What's Tom Holtz? You are correct. And the last clue is mine because it is the other daily double. I'm going to bet it all. For forty-six thousand two hundred dollars, or nothing at all. His life and times won a nineteen four for best documentary feature. Who's Harvey Milk? You are correct. And I didn't bust. Let's get ready for final Jeopardy. See what the category is. <laughs> 
Category is sports stadiums. Let's get to it. I got this. 46,200. All. Ann Arbor School that has the largest U.S. college stadium. What is the University of Michigan? That's going to result in $92,400. And we're going to come back for another game after this break. We'll be right back. 